In this video, we're going to use Unity and Bolt Visual Scripting to check if our items are already in our inventory, and if they are, we're going to add them to the stack. Let's begin! Shall we play a game? Well, this is part four of my complete inventory series, and if you don't watch this series in order, the rest of this is likely going to make very little sense to you. So if all this is new to you, be sure to click the card in the top right and return to the start. If you're the type of person who prefers a written tutorial to a video format, I've posted a link on my Patreon page that will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete each of these steps, which is free for everyone to use. If you enjoyed these tutorials and would like to help support my channel, be sure to choose your level of support on my Patreon page while you're there. As I stated in the showcase video, if you want the system but don't really care about building it, as my way of saying thank you to my top supporters, I've made the project files downloadable. Not only is my complete inventory system included to these supporters, but my complete 2D player controller as well, which by the way, includes a simple enemy AI. With that out of the way, let's get started with this build. In order to get our items to stack, we're just going to have to make a few changes to the flow macros that we've already made, as well as create a new uh, flow macro super unit, and I'll show you exactly what to do here. In a previous tutorial, I had you create the item flow macro, which is the world item uh, uh, flow macro, so we're going to go to our macros folder, go into uh, the world item folder and then let's look at this item this is the individual game objects that sit in our world and all of this is the same with the exception of one little thing we need to change this from saying add item or item add i can't remember exactly which one it was but you need to change that to say inventory check basically what we're doing is we are just diverting the rails of the train track and we're going to send this uh, somewhere else before it goes into the station that it was already going in so it will eventually get there but first we're going to send it into an inventory check to see if the items are um, actually in our inventory and uh, next what we're going to need to do is on our inventory game object i already had you set up this super unit called add to inventory and what we're going to do is we're going to make a change to that in just a second but first what we're going to do is we're going to make a new flow macro super unit just go ahead and place that underneath your inventory folder under macros and um, make one called add to item and this is what that's going to look like um, there is a little bit going on here let me just explain the brief overview and then we'll talk about each individual unit the brief overview is is that we need the item to check if it's already in the inventory and if it is we want to add it the way that we do that is we run our flow from that custom event into another for loops. So this will be the first loop in our build. And we're going to get the child count out all 54 of the slots. So we're going to start with the first game object and we're going to end with the last. And um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run out of the body here and then we're going to check and see if that slot is full. If it is full, then we're going to check and see if it's the same item. The way that we do that is we get the item ID off of the first object in the slot list, which is the child of child. That might seem a little bit confusing, so let me show you. On our inventory game object, which is where this is actually setting, we're going to get the child of the child. So our second child here is the item. It's checking the slot list here in the AOT list to see if the first item is on the list. Well, what if there's not an item in the list? We've already taken care of that by checking to see if the slot is full. If the slot is not full, then it's going to move on and go to the next one. So we're checking to see the item ID of the first item in the slot because we only want items to stack on top of themselves and not on anything else. If it is the same item, what it's going to do is it's going to trigger the item amount custom event on the child of the child. So I'll show you what this is doing. It's actually skipping the item slot and it's just going right to the item because remember the item slot, what it's doing is it's turning everything on. We don't need it to do that. It's already doing that. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to update the amount. We're going to add a list item. We're going to count those items. And now it should have more than one item in that slot. So it'll turn everything on and set the number to however many items are in that slot list to a string and set the number to reflect the very same. 
So uh, let's go back in here, look at this. And the last thing it's going to do after it, it triggers the item amount on that um, item game object, we're gonna set the item added variable. I already had you put this on uh, in the foundation video when we were building all the foundation to our build here. Uh, it's gonna set that item added to true. Why are we doing that? Well, because whenever we run it through the next system, the item add, we wanna check and see if the item's already been added. If it's already been added, we're done. So um, after it's doing that, we're gonna break the loop. So it's finding the first slot. It's gotta go through all of these checks. And if it does, well then it's going to break the loop if it doesn't if it can't do that then it's just going to go to the next item in the list and the next item in the list and the next item in the list until it's able to complete this once it's done it's coming out of the exit as you can see here and it's going to item add and it's going to add that game object to that custom event special note on this is that you need to make sure that all of these lines are going to the right places so check this double check this triple check this because if one line isn't in the right place this whole system will break it's that fragile it's not fragile that's just the way that coding works we need all of that to be checking on the right thing the last thing that we need to do is inside our add to inventory super unit we built this last time so that one is now going to here and it's going to do the item add custom event and this is pretty much identical with two exceptions i did move some stuff around just so you can better see where all the lines are going. This was here, this was here, this was here, and this was here. These two things are what we're adding. So we need the first thing to happen is it's gonna get the child of that index object, uh, so whichever one it's checking, and it needs to first check if the item's already been added on itself. If it has, you're done. Just break the loop and go and set that item added back to false so that when we click on the next item or pick up the next item, it will actually add it to the inventory instead of saying, no, we've already done that. So it's basically setting that back. So the rest of this, so if it's not been added, then we're gonna check and see if it's full. If it's not full, in other words, if that slot is not occupied, it's gonna add that item. So it's basically doing the exact same thing that we were doing. We just need those two units into our system. So going into our prefabs folder, we'll test this out and make sure this is working. Uh, well, let me add a few of these items here just to make sure, and I'm just going to actually duplicate these. Let's duplicate them three or four times. Let's just make sure that everything's working. Okay, I think I actually <laughs> duplicated the same thing. All right, let's try this out. Going to play uh, play mode here with this system now in place. What we should see is that our items will pick up and go into our inventory, and you also see the number reflecting correctly. Uh, so let's check this out. Nine of those, seven of those, and five of those. Perfect. Okay, you should now know how to set up your inventory to not only add items, but it will check and see if it's already been added, and if it has, then it will add it to a stack. What if, however, we want to set the limit of our stack size? Well, that's what we're going to cover in the next tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you and you learned you something. My name is Megahertz. Thanks for joining me. I'm out.